Hey, thank you so much for getting plugged into a life group during this church-wide series. I trust that the relationships that have been cultivated have been beneficial to your soul. I pray that the words that have been spoken, the messages that have been preached have also ministered to you, as well as your time together in life group. This past Sunday, we came out of Genesis 45, uh, the story of Joseph and his whole family, very dysfunctional in the beginning. Uh, as you can imagine, we can't talk about family in the Bible without talking about the story of Joseph. And, and we talked about his dream, and I think that it's important that we start on a lighter note. Here's what I want you to discuss around your circle today. I want you to talk about what dreams that you have for your family. What one or two dreams do you have for your family? Once again, that's what dreams do you have for your family. Pause and take a look. We also talked about how the dream that Joseph had wasn't just for recognition to say, oh, look at the dreamer, but it was actually for uh, revelation and reconciliation for him to redeem his brothers from the fact that they were starving. So not only did God work through his dream to make it a reality, but he also worked through his dream to redeem and restore his family. Maybe you have dreams of your family being restored. And I want you to talk amongst yourselves right now about some of the family members that you feel are distant from you. So go ahead and list out and talk about some families and some relationships that you have that might be disconnected or distant from you, much like Joseph's brothers were. Go ahead and talk about that. Now that you've identified some of the relationships that might be distant in your family, I want you to talk practically about how you think you can restore that relationship. One of the things that Joseph did was he kept asking his brothers to come over, to come back, to come visit him. He kept asking his brothers to return. He wanted to spend more time with them. Then he dines with them and eats with them. Maybe there's someone that you need to have coffee with. Maybe there's someone that you need to ask over to your house for dinner. Whatever relationship in your family it's currently disconnected or distant that you believe God has called you to reconcile, what are some things that you can do to reconcile that relationship? Again, what are some things that you can do to reconcile that relationship? Finally, we talked about how the story of Joseph is very connected to the story of Jesus. Joseph was his father's favorite son. Jesus was God's only son. The father was disconnected from Joseph because of the sins of those around him. Our heavenly father was disconnected from Jesus momentarily because of our sins that he took on the cross. And I want you to think about in your life, who are some people that not only need to be reconciled back to you, but who are some people that need to be reconciled to Jesus? They need to be reconciled to their heavenly father. I want you to discuss those people and then here's what I want you to do. I want you to challenge yourselves in the group to invite them to church on Easter Sunday. Easter is a really, a really easy time to invite people to church. It's coming up and I want you to go ahead and pray for and pray about inviting them to church on Easter Sunday. So for this last question, as you go, I want you to talk about the people you feel are disconnected, not only maybe from you, but from God. Pray for them and then think of creative ways that you can invite them and ask them to come to church this Easter. Thanks so much for taking some time to watch this video and discuss amongst yourselves. I love you so much and we'll see you very soon.